That's right, Anna and Amber. Let me set it up for you now. This is Fayetteville Street. The traffic is pretty much normal for a weekday, but picture this same street with people lining both sides, a lot of people, a parade coming down the middle of the street, and then a car coming toward that parade and coming dangerously close. It was extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous. Literally, if a kid had stepped out or a person had stepped out off the sidewalk, it could have gotten hit because it was too, he was going too fast to slow down. City Councilman Leonardo Williams says the car that sped through Hillside High School's homecoming parade put him and everyone nearby in harm's way. Video shot by Lakeisha Bernard sparked concerned reactions online. Williams told us as he walked in the parade with other elected leaders, suddenly. I heard the lady screaming, move, move, move. I, I turned around and there was a, a black car coming toward uh, Zach Hawkins and I, Representative Hawkins, and we jumped out of the way. There was a deputy that tried to stop them and the car didn't slow down, so he got out of the way. And the car went over the hill back behind me here. And now he wants people who know anything about the person responsible for this scary situation to call Durham police. They put a lot of lives in danger. And uh, that's not that's not what we're asking for here in Durham. This was a day of culture. This was a day of folks coming together, family and friends and communities to celebrate one of North Carolina's most historic black high schools, Hillside High School. And we deserve a day to have fun together. Well, we have reached out to the Durham Police Department to see if they have any information about the search for this person responsible. Also, Councilman Williams had a lot more to say about that situation. We'll hear more from him and an update from the police coming up later on this afternoon here on Eyewitness News.